Good morning. I just cleared that area to get rid of the ragweed. There's a lot more I could do, but we finally got a cloudy day. It's not extremely hot, so I figured my energy would be better spent attacking what has become of my garden. Because I would like to, I mean, my goal is it starts to cool down next week. So my goal is I'd like to have everything planted for a fall garden by the end of next week. So I'm just gonna start chipping away. Hopefully I don't any hot patches or rough patches and I can get it all done. Okay, so I got the first bed pretty much weeded. I'm gonna rake it a little bit and then I'm gonna plant some romaine, some green towers. I got them pelleted, so I'm gonna attempt to use the Earthway Cedar, my cedar for the first time. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little nervous um, because obviously like, you know, once the seeds are out, they're kinda out. So you only get one first shot. But I don't think it's too hard, I don't know. Watched a few videos on it. Somewhere along the line, my blank irrigation got a little bit tangled. My camera died, but I got those rigged up. I'm a little worried because the adapter that holds the wobbler, they said fit a half inch blank poly, but I had to kind of cut it a little bit. So I don't know how those will hold up. The one's kind of leaning a little bit. Also, I don't remember, I, I calculated it when I bought it. That was back in June. So I don't remember how far I had to put them apart to cover what I want to cover. I think they need to be a row over, but I'll worry about that. I'm just trying to water the one row right now. And there's really no way to, to test them because I'm using a three-way to, to get to the next one. So there's really no way to test it without having the next one hook up. So I don't know, so I guess we're, we're going blind, but my goal is to, to really attack my irrigation um, fall, end, end of fall, mid fall, right before it snows, probably end of October because um, everything will be died back and I won't have a lot of else, a lot of other things to do so I can stake it out and 
at least run some things um, so I can get at it in the, in the spring. But anyway, you know, we'll see what happens when I throw around. And they work, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hang out for a little while, probably run them for about 10 minutes, and then just kind of see if, I don't know, I guess if, if they're too far apart or, or whatnot. I definitely need to move them over a row, but I already, I already knew that, so I probably won't do that until I plant the other row, but that's an, that's an easy fix. After watching them for a while, I think I'm good with space. I'll probably have to go three a row though. Um, but I think I can get away with moving them over two rows. So I might only I might need less that way than I than I thought at first. So it might actually work out. But I'm just gonna keep putting them up slowly, and then you know, as a as I need to, to get them closer together, I'll get them closer together. It's only two bucks a sprinkler, so it's really not that big of a deal. Anyway, take it easy. Appreciate you hanging out. Catch you later.